In addition to being physicians, you both have degrees in public health. What role does public health have in patient safety? How can we shift the national conversation to this broader perspective? Yeah, this is something I think we've talked about over the years, uh, you know, in the in the community. Um, and again, like you say, some of us who have you know public health training, public health backgrounds, it's pretty easy for us, I think, to see patient safety as um, a public health issue, um, just like uh, something like breast cancer, or heart disease, what have you. Um, each of those, including patient safety, has you know a toll that that it exerts on on the population, on the public's health, um, and, and that translates into harm, into morbidity, mortality, people, you know, uh, suffering consequences of, of these events. And so, um, you know, w w we see in some estimates the same numbers of deaths uh, uh, as you see from breast cancer per year. And we don't always think about it the same way because, because of how patient safety problems um, kind of arise, but, but when you just look at it from that perspective, uh, it, you know, it does have the same effect. This is, you know, uh, somebody's family member, somebody's friend, you know, people in the public who, um, you know, are either not here in the worst circumstances or have a significantly altered, you know, life path because of uh, these unfortunate events, again, that nobody wants to happen. And so I think, you know, applying some of the same principles of uh, epidemiology and, and surveillance and then when we have that information that we get from those uh, those endeavors, you know, applying it in a way to actually take some action that, that prevents, that mitigates the harm and, and um, mortality that we see. I think that's probably the biggest takeaway for me, uh, and, and hopefully others are starting to see it that way as well. This is, I, I think um, we've unfortunately, um, with good intentions, made patient safety special in that regard. Uh, uh, it's certainly important, but it's not special in terms of, again, the toll that it ha has on the public's health. So I think, you know, um, that that kind of um, thinking is changing in, in a good way with with better recognition, better awareness. So I think there is, you know, um, you know, more more appreciation for the problem, you know, with those perspectives in mind. And um, I would just add that. So when I was um uh, CEO of the National Patient Safety Foundation, um, uh, we had put out a call to action a few years ago saying patient safety is a public health issue based on the toll that we know it takes um, on, on uh, both physically and emotionally uh, on patients. And, um, you know, one of the key um, pieces of that was as you think about other public health issues, whether it's, you know, smoking or breast cancer or whatever it might be, um, we wouldn't expect individual hospitals to solve that problem independently. We would expect that there would be this coordinated approach around things like measurement, surveillance, around things just even to identify um, solutions uh, uh, to those problems, a much more uh, coordinated effort, et cetera. And so, um, so I think you know, taking patient safety from something that you know we have, every organization has to figure out on their own to kind of elevating it to that public health issue that then has a coordinated public health response with measurement, with um, you know this national action plan, hopefully as part of that coordinated response, et cetera, as well as then thinking about solutions across the board. Um, uh, I think is an approach that will hopefully hopefully um, help us get further faster.